some people know what they want to be when they grow up. From the time they're a little kid, I knew a girl in college who was there to learn how to do what she wanted to do with her dad for the rest of her life. Some of us get to college and got to pick a career. I showed up thinking I would be maybe a physics teacher or a Spanish teacher. And then one day I went to the career center and came out with the choice of being a civil engineer. Then we spend the next decades of our career working hard and trying to figure out what we're going to be when we grow up. And that's what I've been doing. Working hard, learning, and trying to figure out what I'm going to be when I grow up. And I am so excited in 2017 because I've decided I want to be a civil engineer when I grow up. And that has been so energizing to me. And one of the things I've decided that I'm excited to do is modernize my way of using AutoCAD after 25 years, improve it, and go back to school, metaphorically speaking. I've had wonderful things happen in engineering in the past few months because of this new attitude and excitement and energy. But I'd like to take a few minutes to talk about some of the small, neat things that have happened in AutoCAD with this new excitement and energy and decisiveness. I was fortunate 23 years ago to meet the CADster extraordinaire, Craig Arthur Hendricks. He told me to learn AutoLisp and he told me what programs he wanted me to write. He showed me how to program function key OSNAPs. He told me about a guy named Dave Reynolds who once programmed his function key OSNAPs to, he would hit F4 and it would do the endpoint OSNAP, for example. But then he would define a PGP alias shortcut so that ENDP drew line. So if he was not in the middle of something, some command, and he wanted to draw a line, he would just hit F4 and it would draw a line. But if he was in the middle of something and it was expecting an OSNAP, he would hit F4 and he would get an endpoint OSNAP. Now if that doesn't blow your mind, you're pretty smart. And it blew my mind and I got it. And 20 years later, I'm trying something like it. Not for lying. So that will be the first example of something I have changed that I'm pretty excited about and I'm still getting used to it. I have had function key OSNAPs for decades and lots of friends around here do. They are, they are the cat's meow. They are the best thing since sliced bread. They really make AutoCAD a delight to use and precise. They reduce your zooming, your panning, um, your errors. They simply make AutoCAD better because you can hit explicit endpoint or perpendicular or center instantaneously with your function keys. So I decided to try this uh, idea of Dave Reynolds's and I thought is there a command that deserves that kind of optimization? And it occurred to me that what I do all day long, and I don't know about you, but I isolate layers and turn everything back on. Turn all but these layers off and turn everything back on because these drawings get messy. Everything is on top of each other in civil engineering and I assume everything else. And I'm always off isolate on all, off isolate on all. And my commands for years have been OFI, ONA. So I decided to make the endpoint an alias for turn all on, lay on, which AutoCAD could not do 25 years ago, but it can do today. Lay on is a native AutoCAD command. So now I have ENDP as an alias for lay on. I have CEN, center, as an alias for lay ISO. So when I want to isolate some layers, as in some of my videos, I just hit F3, pick the layers I want to isolate, and isolate them. Then when I want everything to come back on again, I hit F4. 
and it says endpoint, and AutoCAD says endpoint. Oh, that's an alias for uh, the lay on, and it turns them all on. But wait, that's not all. And here's just a real quick grocery list of things that I've improved in the last few months that have really tickled me. ONA is now just ON. OFI, I don't use anymore. I just changed OFI and ONA to I and IU. Isolate and isolate undo. I and IU. But now I've moved on to those function keys and I think I'll use them. I also for decades have managed layers using AS to set layer to the current selected object. CL to change the selected objects to the current layer and CHM to change the current object, change the selected objects to match another object. AS, CL, and CHM. I decided this year those deserve better treatment. So I got creative and I found the letter Y, who is underused. And I decided on the most unintuitive aliases of Y to set the layer to the selected object, YY to put the selected objects on the current layer, and YYY to change the selected objects to match another object. So now AS, CL, and CHM are just Y, YY, and YYY. There may be others, but there's another principle. You can only change so much so fast for yourself and for other people. And I have people that listen to me and use my stuff. So I have decided to try to restrain my enthusiasm and release possibly once a year a few changes that are recommended. But I can tell you I was happy before using AutoCAD and I am even happier now with Y, 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 and Y, 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 and those little function key off isolates and lay on.